Welcome to Pro Stitcher Catalog Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg and with me is Christina Whitney and we're going to walk you through how to use catalog to find designs. Green. We've both got our computers set up here and let's just look at what we've got here. If we click on the home tab, I have a new button here that says find. Do you see that on your home tab right there? All right, click Can on I say, it. I love the icon. I know, isn't it cool? Binoculars. Little pair of binoculars. I think it's so cute. Okay. All right, and we have this little box that pops up here. Okay. And we can just type designs in here, which is which is super awesome. So let's walk through the steps of how to find these designs. Okay. Okay. We can do it by keywords. You can see all of our options here by notes, name, stitches colors. Colors is a little more for embroidery designs, we're not, which, you know, we're talking more quilting designs here, okay. but the width and the height, the date, and then we have ratings down here. And this is a really important box down here at the bottom. Do you notice that it says include all formats? Uh -huh. That's important to have checked so that we're not only searching designs that are in the native format for designer, which is .c2s. We want to be able to search you know, our HQV files, HQF, QLI, all those, all those great files that we have saved somewhere in our computer. Yeah, the right. ones that we actually want to use. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So let's start by searching notes. Um, so let's just type in, give me a word I want to search for notes. Well, let's do music since music. it's notes. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to type a word in there and then I'm going to click on find and we'll see what it finds for us. So mine has a little pop-up says this is the very first time you search for designs. Initializing is going to take a while. Okay, I'm really glad that that popped up because that is an important message to remember. Your software's got to kind of go through this process and find these designs on your computer. Now what's What's important to know is this is only going to search the designs that are in a specific folder to start with. So on your C drive, we have a folder that's called designs. Okay. And that is, you know, if you have Pro Stitcher installed, it's on there, Pro Stitcher and Simulation. If you have Designer, it's where the designs default to. That is where it's going to search is the C okay. prompt designs. Okay. So it's not going to search all my other folders that I have all over the place with random designs. Exactly. But okay. I'm going to show you how to actually link other folders into that C prompt designs so that you can search those ones too. Excellent. Okay. So if we take a look at Christina's screen right now, we can see that it's working. Do you see that little green bar that's going across the top there? And like she mentioned, it takes an extra minute or two the first time around because it's got to search through everything. Oh, that will do it. Okay. Well, I think you just got results. So if you notice there in the bottom right corner of the find window, it, te it tells you how many designs it found. How many designs did it find? Two. Two. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and then over here in, your, um, in the bottom right, we've got results. And so okay. that bottom this window, yep, right, right there, it's, t it's showing results. Now, if you move your cursor down to the bottom, and there's a little line right there. If you kind of hover over that line and then click, you can move that line up. Remember that this bottom is a split window underneath the designs, so you can see it. And look, right there, it's showing us the designs that it found. So how oh. easy was that to find a design? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm wondering why I have two of the same design. Well. Because <laughs> I'm not organized. Because <laughs> you're not organized. <laughs> Depending on how many times you've saved stuff, yeah. it, you, might, you might have multiple designs. you got to remember that be, also because you have that include all formats selected, you may have oh. that same design in more than one format on your computer. And so it brought Good up point. both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Christina, I want you to open one of these because now we're going to talk about notes and keywords. So go ahead and double click on one of those to load it. And then I want you just to go ahead and close that find window. Just click in that top corner there. Okay, perfect. So her design is up there on the screen. It looks really great. Now let's start talking about the information that we can put in there, the, the information we can search from and where it pulls that information from. So if you look over on the top right there, in your design window there, your design view window, it tells you the file name. So it shows you the name of the file right there. And then underneath it is the notes. And that is what it searched by was the notes. Now we've got two other 
um, categories that we can search by here, but you don't have any information in those categories. So let's walk through the steps of how to add those in. Okay. So first of all, we've got the keywords there. Okay. Do you see that down there in keywords? Mm -hmm. I want you to click in that and okay. let's put a keyword in here. Now, this is really cool. You're, it's the chance for you to um, create your own categories of designs. Okay. So this could be one that maybe you want to call it an easy edge to edge. Maybe you want to call it um, Cousin Sue's Quilt because <laughs> that's what you used it on. You can, you can put those, those words either in keywords or you can add them to notes. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and type something in there that you would be able to organize it by. Because of course we're all going to kind of choose our own way to organize it, right? Yeah. Can I put more than one? Yes, you can. Okay. And you separate by a comma. Comma. Okay. So mm -hmm. easy edge to edge, even though it has a space in between, that's it's going to search for mm -hmm. that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then I've got my comma, and yeah. then I could put in loops. Loops. Yeah, because that's a loops quilt. Okay. Now, I want you to click that apply button that you see right there, and watch what happens. It says save to, save changes, and what it's going to do is actually save that to the original file. So now that is going to be there on the C drive, that information okay. is going to be included. So go ahead and click on that. So that's one way we can uh, categorize. And then we have rating, ratings there. Do you see that? And there's stars. So you can go ahead and select a rating for your design and organize that way too. So okay. if this is a design you use all the time, perhaps you want to create a collection of five star designs. So go ahead, you could click on five star. And then once again, you click the apply and you save the changes. And Christina now has made this design even more searchable by all of these factors. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. It is really, really cool. So we've done that. Let's go through and show you how to add a new link to your, to your um, designs folder, okay? okay? And you know what? Let's actually, I will, if you want to take a look at my screen, we'll pop over here and I'll show you how to do it. So, if we look here, do you see here in my designs folder, I just kind of move things down there. I actually have one that's already linked so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like. See how it has that little arrow on it and it says desktop designs, okay? So that one is a linked folder. Okay. To add a new link, I choose the folder that I want to add the link to. In this case, because I want it to show up within this list of folders right here. I will click on designs and then do a right click. And you'll notice that from my menu, I could choose new link. Do you see that right there? I do, okay. I'm gonna click on it. So we're doing this together. You okay. guys are looking at my screen. And then it's gonna bring up um, possible folders that you can link to. It brings up your, your, it says select target here at the top of the window. But what it does is it lets you search your entire hard drive on your computer and then you can link something. So I want to link this folder right here that says my designs, okay? Okay. So I'll select this one and then I'll come down here and click on this button right here that says select folder. And it's going to ask me is that okay? I want to say yes. And now you'll see over here in my designs view I have a new link and I can rename that by once again doing a right click and then click on this one right here that says rename link. And I remember that folder was called my designs. So I'll just type in my designs and then type enter. And that has now been put in the proper place and it's even alphabetized. So it's ready to use. So I've linked that folder so I can uh, easily search that folder also without having to move it to that specific path. Does that make sense? Yes. So does your icon have like a little blue arrow yes. rather than a folder on yours? It does. It okay. has a little blue arrow which lets me know that this is a linked file Perfect. rather than just a file on my, it, within my um, C, C drive, drive designs. Okay? Okay. So that makes sense and you can see some of my fun little designs that I have there. <laughs> Are those ones you've created yourself? Uh, have you, you know, rated them yet? Some of them, <laughs> no I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. This one is out here. You know what? I can actually open up this one. This is one that I created in Designer. I made some fun little um, pouches and I did a bunch of quilting on them. So this is a really fun one here. And you can see over here in my, I don't, I don't have any notes yet. So why don't Put I? something in there. Yeah. Okay. 
So this was designed by Kim Sandberg. And I'm going to type in copyright 2020. Um, just a note here, be sure to respect copyright law. So if you're using a design that's already been created, you don't want to erase any of that copyright information. You don't want to change it. That needs to stay there. We want to respect copyright law. You can absolutely add to the notes, though. So okay. we'll do that. Um, then let's say, oh, this is for my um, initial pouch. And then I'm going to say it makes a 8 inch by 12 inch um, size. That way I know just by looking right there everything that's in there. And the keywords I'm going to put in it's a pouch, it has initials. Um, I think those are good. And of course I'm going to give it a five star rating, right? <laughs> <laughs> Some of my designs I wouldn't give them a five star rating. They still need a little bit of work. <laughs> Do they need a little bit of work? This is one I worked, I, I put a lot of work you on. Did. So I've went ahead and done that, I've saved it, it's ready to go. So cool? with purchase designs that you, mm -hmm. you buy off the internet, you download, you can link them into here. Mm -hmm. Will those notes automatically come up with their copyright information? Yes. Oh, Christina, let's, let's walk through those search fields just one more time. So okay. let's, let's look at your screen. I'm going to let you walk through the steps this time. I've already forgotten how to do so, it. Oh, okay. I go to the binoculars. I, yep. <laughs> Click on the binoculars under the, which tab is it that you have selected? Oh. Oh. It's your home tab. Okay, so home tab. Uh -huh. Find. Find. Click on those little binoculars. Ooh, but I'm looking at this and I've got this little pop-up thing. I could just do control F if I didn't you want to click on that. You are exactly right. Control F. Okay. I always love those alternate keys. Yeah. That's totally cool. Okay. okay. Now, you've got your screen up here. So what do you want to search for? I'm going to search by rating. Okay. Perfect. And I haven't rated very many. So I'm okay. going to search from one star to five stars. Okay. And see what we come up with. <laughs> and right. I think I'll get one. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. So go ahead and click find up there. Okay. Fine. And let's see what we come up with. And it's searching much faster this yes. time, you can see, because yep. it's already been initialized. Oh, look, I had a total of one. one. Okay, so go over and remember, you can pull that little, that little line up. Oh, oh, come on, pull it up there. Oh, look, it's Yay. my Music Meander, and it has a rating of? Five stars. Open. Oh, Is it's, that? Right, it's right above there. <laughs> well, and it's, it's open. You it's clicked on open. it and it opened, yeah. <laughs> I was remember, expecting a new window or something. Remember that when you open it, that find screen is actually going to stay on your screen until okay. you close it. So would the results screen always show there? Under, under designs, yes, now it does, okay. the designs view. Perfect. It's going to be right up there at the top, and you can okay. click on that gonna... to see what the results were from the last search that you did. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to click on this find one more time because okay. I'm learning by repetition. Yes. I've searched for, oh, I've got a question. Yeah. On that last search, I had the word music in notes oh, yeah. and my rating. Does it search? It did by both of by them. By both. So let's go up to the right of find in the top, the top right corner there. Click okay. on that. And there's actually one there where you can, you can clear filters, which will clear your former filters. So if you want to start okay. a new search from scratch. So stitches, I don't know that I would ever search by stitches because I don't yeah. even know how many stitches yeah. I do. And I usually do repeats. There's, so. there's a lot of different parameters in here and yeah. the reasoning behind that is, uh, you know, something that I really like to search by may not be what Correct. you want to search uh -huh. by. The trick is just give them all a try. It's just like when we're mm -hmm. teaching in the studio, right? Oh, we yeah. always tell everybody, okay, there's four different <laughs> ways to do the same thing. But mine's give the them best. all a try. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Give them all a try and figure out which one works best for you. Yeah. Exactly. I, I do like this option of width and height. Yeah. Because I have a certain throat space and right. if I'm trying to fill that whole throat space, you can that, by that's that. a good starting point. It is. It really I is. I mean, I can adjust it when I get to my machine, but that is a great starting point. It really is. It really is.